There's no one right way to compost. There are a lot of different systems out there and you have to choose which system works best for you. Hi, my name is Rick Carr, Farm Director at Rodale Institute. And in this video, we'll be discussing how to choose the right composting system for your backyard. Probably the most common composting system is a pile on the ground or a compost heap. Sometimes in our backyards, we wanna reduce our composting footprint, make things look a little neater and keep things contained. So one of my favorite composting systems is the welded wire bin, as you can see here. This has two by four inch openings, keeps things pretty much contained inside. Uh, you could have it just on the ground as you see here or you could raise it above the ground on a wood pallet. The benefit of raising it up is that we can allow excess water to leach out and air to move up through the pile. The wire itself is fairly durable. It'll last several years. It may not even have to be replaced in a lifetime. Some of the drawbacks of a welded wire bin is that there is a cost to it. So you have to go to your local hardware store and purchase the welded wire. They do come in 25 foot lengths at your local hardware store. And what you wanna to try to achieve with any bin is a minimum dimension of three feet by three feet by three feet. The earth machine, as you can see here, is a prefabricated plastic compost bin. I see this often in backyards and it can be purchased in at your local hardware store. The benefit of the earth machine is that it keeps things well contained and you don't see the compostables inside. Now the drawback is that it's small and you can't add that much material to it. And it doesn't meet that three feet diameter that we're trying to achieve. And if you're not meeting that, you're reducing your volume and you're creating a lot more surface area and that's gonna reduce the ability for your pile to heat up. Changing gears to a turning system like we have here. This one was made from a 55 gallon drum. The benefit of having something like that, obviously it's easy to turn. Just rotate it like this. Okay, you could add material here, have a little door on it. Now the drawback is that again, the size, you can't add much volume to it. And at some point, you're gonna to have to take everything out and let it sit because you can't keep adding more material to it, more fresh material, and mix that with decomposed material. Here we have two more plastic bins that you can purchase online or at a hardware store. The benefit of these, again, keeps things contained. You don't see it, what's going on inside. Now the drawbacks of these bins are their size. They're not as large as we would like, so you can't add as much material to them. They do come at a cost, and that cost is gonna vary depending on which plastic bin you purchase. And then the plastic itself is gonna degrade over time. The last bin I'd like to highlight is the pallet bin system here. The benefit of having something like this is that it's large. You could make it modular, add more bins to it, more sections to it, and you could add a lot of material. Now the drawbacks of a pallet bin system are that it's made up of wood. And so that wood's gonna rot and degrade and you're gonna have to replace pallets over time, maybe a few years, as well as its size. It's a little bit larger than the other bins that I showcased so it will take up more space in your yard. These are just a few of the bins that you could use in your backyard for your composting system, but there are many others out there to choose from. Thank you for watching this video on how to choose the right composting system for your backyard. Please watch Rodell Institute's other videos in our series on backyard composting.